What is up everybody and welcome back to the next episode in the bus build series where today we are finally going to make some big moves. What I mean by that is that we're going to start insulating this back corner so I can build my brains of the bus. But before I can put walls and then add those pieces, I need to insulate. So that's where we're going to start today. Before we get into it, I want to remind you to hit that like button below and subscribe to the channel so you can keep following along with the videos that are coming. Without further ado, let's start insulating. I have a bunch of chunks of this rigid foam which I'm going to glue into the big open areas as much as I can. And then between those and between the walls and the furring strips, we're going to use the Great Stuff cans. Now, I do have a whole spray foam kit, which I will use for the majority of the curved bits like the roof and the corners. I will prep the whole bus for big time spray foam and I'll use that kit. But for now, it's going to be these cans. They're going to be just enough to get me the little bit that I need. Let's get ripping on this corner. got the insulation trimmed and cut flush and I'm going to try and put in my first piece of wall. That's so exciting. My first piece. I got to cut out a little outlet box first to make sure that the outlet has a place to go and make sure that it is cut to the perfect dimensions and then I'm just going to pop some screws in that sucker and then it's good to go. Let's put it in. I'm so excited that I got my first piece of wall in. It's tiny, it's like 25 inches by 22 inches. So it, it means nothing in terms of everything that's gotta happen. But this is the first time looking at a wall instead of ribs and metal and window and this is great. the next day and I'm gonna get that other piece of wall in there for that back corner but there's some complicated little cutouts around like the gas inlet and then there's some holes that we need wires to come through so we'll be doing some measuring and some cutting before we pop that up inside so <laughs> After putting in that second wall yesterday in that battery box corner, I realized something. Since I'm spray foaming my ceiling, side note, spray foaming is a nasty mess, super gross, gets on everything and it's tricky to clean up. Since I'm going through that process, I don't want to put my nice expensive electronics in that bottom corner until I've done my spray foaming just because it's gonna be easier to do it now when I can be messy than later when I gotta be really particular and really clean about stuff. So yesterday afternoon, I prepped the whole bus for spray foam. I put plastic down on as much as I could to make cleanup easier. And then the rest, I put some sheets of, uh, some rolls of paper. So I'm ready to spray foam. I don't have a bodysuit, you know, one of those little paper mache kind of feeling little uh, painter suits that has a hood and arms and legs. and. So I'm gonna go grab one of those, then I'll suit up and see about spraying my ceiling, getting those curves insulated. So I'm out of my spray foam kit. 
and I am out of accessory little cans for now, so I can't fill any of the gaps and cracks that were left, but I mean, considering what I had learned online from various people who had done this themselves, some said it was the worst idea they ever had, some said it was easy, I'm kind of more in the easy camp. Um, there's a lot of cleanup still to do, a lot of trimming, which I was expecting, you know, that's not a surprise, but to go from nothing on the ceiling to ceiling insulated in half an hour is pretty good. Late last night I got the last pieces of rigid foam insulation glued in and sprayed around. So now everything should be set and I get to spend all afternoon scraping away at the excess foam, getting it all flush. I can't put any walls up if I have foam sticking out or ceiling up if I have foam sticking out. So it's all gonna be flush with my furring strips. So that's what I get to spend uh, today doing. In case you were wondering what exactly I'm doing right now to clean up the spray foam, I'm using this uh, nine inch blade from a reciprocating saw. Instead of using the saw itself and making all sorts of a mess of what I've already put up here, I'm using this saw blade and just cuts through it really nice and quick like slicing bread. So it's pretty straightforward. Oh, hello. Come here. Stitches. Wow! Hello, friend. Oof. All clean. Feels much better. Insulation is trimmed. The bus is clean. Next, and hopefully, I can get a good bit of progress on this today before I gotta go in and retire for the evening. I would love to frame out the windows. Okay, I have four of these wedges cut. They can fit right in that gap. Ideally, like I mentioned, I'm going to pocket screw it down to the bottom. Now, a way that I could attach them to each other is by putting another little strip of plywood in between them, screwing that into the, the main frame, and then from either side I'll just put a little tack nail. That way they're a little bit more stable in there. And the last piece of the puzzle is going to be one that runs along the top edge right here that's going to frame it out really nicely. That way, all I have surrounding my window gaps is clean, nice, trim, cut wood. So, I'm gonna go cut those little strips. I need two of those, and then we're gonna work on how we're gonna install them. How cool is this? Got these little trim pieces in, they're rock solid and there's no screw showing, no, nothing connected to metal, and it gives me really nice, clean edges around my windows. I'm very excited about that. And they look pretty decent too. I'll insulate them after I do this other side. And I'm ready for walls. And that is it for this video. Thank you very, very much for watching and following along with the journey and the build. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next couple of steps where we're gonna start building out some walls and putting up plywood. And this is gonna start to look like a finished project. Thank you very much again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.